hidden error. Usage of spouse is not recognized hidden error. Usage of children is not recognized Robert John Davy is an American actor, singer, writer, and director. Over the course of his acting career, Davy has performed in more than 130 films. He has played the roles of main villain and drug lord Franz Sanchez in the 1989 James Bond film License to Kill, FBI Special Agent Bailey Malone in the NBC television series Profiler, as Vietnam veteran and FBI Special Agent Big Johnson in Die Hard, the opera singing heavy Jake Fratelli in The Goonies, Hans Zaba in Son of the Pink Panther and Al Torres in Showgirls. Classically trained as a singer, Davy launched his professional singing career in 2011. His first album, Davy Sings Sinatra, On the Road to Romance, hit number six on the Billboard Jazz Charts. Praised for his voice and vocal interpretations, Davy debuted as a headliner at The Venetian, in Las Vegas, Nevada, six months after the record was released. Early Life Davy was born in Astoria, Queens, New York, the son of Maria and Sal Davy. His mother was an Italian-American whose family came from Nusca and his father was a native of Torita. Davy spoke Italian during his childhood. He attended Seton Hall, a Catholic high school in Patchogue, New York. He has two sisters, Yvonne Davy and Michelle Queel. He graduated from Hofstra University, the alma mater of fellow James Bond villain Christopher Walken. Davy was drawn to Hofstra because of the university's strong drama department as well as its unique reproduction of Shakespeare's Globe Theatre. Acting career Davy made his motion picture debut in Contract on Cherry Street, in which he shared the screen with Frank Sinatra. He subsequently worked with Marlon Brando, Clint Eastwood, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Benicio del Toro, James Franco, Catherine Zeta Jones, Bruce Willis, and Roberto Benigna, among others. He has appeared in movies including The Goonies, Die Hard, Showgirls, Son of the Pink Panther, and in the Bond film License to Kill as the villain Franz Sanchez, a South American drug lord and murderer. On television, he starred as Commander Acastus Collier on Stargate Atlantis, appeared in two-part episodes of Criminal Minds and played supervisory special agent Bailey Malone of the FBI Violent Crimes Task Force in 88 episodes of his own NBC series, Profiler. In 1989, Davy appeared as Mafia Albert Serico on the television series Wise Guy in the 10-episode Mafia arc titled Garbage Wars. He also sang in the first installment of the arc, called Lola Crime de Ramor Part 1. In 2011, Davy appeared alongside Val Kilmer and Christopher Walken in the gangster movie Kill the Irishman. The film, in which Davy played mafia hitman Ray Ferreta, is a biopic of Danny Green, an Irish-American mob boss who warred with the Cleveland crime family during the 1970s. Released the same year, he was also in Game of Death with Wesley Snipes. He followed up these projects with crime thriller The Iceman, co-starring alongside Michael Shannon, Winona Ryder and Ray Liotta. In 2014, Davy appeared as Goran Varta in The Expendables 3. In 2015, Davy appeared in a music video for Bob Dylan's recording of The Night They Called It A Day, from Dylan's album Shadows in the Night. A selection of songs which had been recorded by Frank Sinatra, Rolling Stone suggested that Davy's role in the video may be a nod towards Davy's having made his acting debut alongside Sinatra in the crime film, Contract on Cherry Street, and Davy's release of his own album of Sinatra covers. Directing career. In 2007, Davy made his directorial debut with The Dukes, a parable regarding the mid-2000 economic crisis and its impact. In addition to Davy, the film stars Chaz Parmentieri and Peter Bogdanovich. The Dukes was selected for the premiere section at the Rome Film Festival, along with films by Francis Ford Coppola, Sean Penn, Robert Redford. 
Sidney Lumet, and Gavin Hood. Davy was the only first-time director in the premiere section. At the Monte Carlo Comedy Film Festival, the film received awards for Best First-Time Director and Best Screenplay. Later, The Dukes was invited to the Alpe d'Huez International Comedy Film Festival in France, among other festivals. Recording career In high school, Davy was praised for his singing and auditioned for the Metropolitan Opera after being awarded first place at the prestigious New York State School Music Association solo competition, where he sang Vincent Newman's Without a Song. He subsequently received classical training with top vocal teachers, Samuel Margolis and Daniel Ferro of Juilliard and Tito Gobbi. However, Davy damaged his voice, and later explained that he was a baritone with the heart of a tenor and had pushed too hard. Too early, Davy began to focus again on singing in 2011, and worked with voice builder Gary Katona as he prepared to record his first album. With a 30-piece orchestra, he recorded the album at the legendary Capitol Records building in Hollywood, where Frank Sinatra recorded on many occasions. The album, which featured new arrangements by composer Nick Tenbroke, was produced by Phil Ramone, engineered by Dan Wallen, and mixed by the legendary Al Schmidt. The album, Davy Sings Sinatra, On the Road to Romance, was released October 24, 2011, and received significant attention from the media, garnering positive reviews. Jazz Times called Davy Sings Sinatra uniformly impressive, and critic Don Heckman wrote in the Orange County Register that there are, of course, dozens of Sinatra imitators and simulators. But what Davy does is a whole different matter. A tribute. Yes, indeed, all that and more. All music noted that Davy makes no attempt to copy Sinatra's vocal sound, rather, he is his own singer. The album reached the top 10 on the Billboard Jazz Charts. Quincy Jones said, I have never heard anyone come this close to Sinatra's sound and still be himself. Many try, but Robert Davy has the voice, tone, the flavor and the swagger. In December 2012, Davy appeared along with Roger Cicero in the French-German art TV program Duc Dynact Mit. The episode was shot in the Little Italy area of New York City and featured conversation between Cicero and Davy and solos of Sinatra standards by both performers. In December 2013, Davy released a Christmas single, Mistletoe and Holly, with all proceeds benefiting the Salvation Army. In September 2013, Davy recorded a single by Nick Val Longer called New York City Christmas, which was arranged by Chris Walden, performed by members the Chris Walden Big Band, and recorded and mixed at Capitol Records by Al Schmidt and Steve Janetwick. It was released in November 2013. Davy has also lent his voice to political ads, including Carly Fiorina's Notorious, Demon's Sheep, Attack Ad, Hot Air, The Movie, and others produced by Republican media consultant Fred Davis. Personal Life Davy, a devout Roman Catholic, is an outspoken conservative and often speaks at Republican Party gatherings. He has been invited to comment on numerous political shows and backs John McCain during his presidential campaign. He narrated several film montages that aired during the 2008 Republican National Convention. Davy also spoke at the 2009 Conservative Political Action Conference in Washington, D.C. He was a frequent guest on Fox News's late-night satire program Red Eye with Greg Gutfeld. Davy's children are Sean Christian Davy, with Jerry McBride, and Ariana Marie Davy, Francis Davy, and Isabella Davy and Nicholas Edward Davy, with Christine Bolster. Although he is frequently seen smoking cigarettes in films and on television, Davy is an avid cigar smoker. Awards and honors for his notable contributions to the Italian community, Davy was enshrined in Toronto's Italian Walk of Fame in 2013. TV and Filmography